Alright, there it is. I had to make sure it did it now. Hold on. Again, I do that every fucking time I start, but it doesn't have the function where you can actually, like, yeah, whatever. But enough with all the crazy shit. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy here to give you another edition of Tabloids and Trending Topics with T. Got a lot of shit to talk about, and I have to make up for lost time. All right, you guys know that I didn't do it last week because I was down under. What's up? What's up? And I'm actually happy because like I said we got back early. What's going on, Mark? And I get to come live today because we were supposed to get back later this week. Hello, hello, hello. And, um, you know, we got back early, so. <laughs> he was waiting. All right, well, you know, I'm back. And, you know, here's the thing. I've been going for two weeks. All right. And I'm just like, a lot of shit, hey, y'all, has happened in two fucking weeks. So I'm just like, golly. So, and right quick, if any of y'all are wondering why the trending topics from not last week, but the week before, yeah, I know, lots to discuss. I know a lot of people are wondering, like, why it was uploaded this week instead of, like, when it actually came out. <laughs> he was waiting, all right. And the reason being is, like, I knew that I wasn't going to be here this week, so I wanted to make sure that there was content for this week because it was such a last minute thing of me having to leave. So, yeah, let's make up for lost time. Now, I hope y'all ready because I'm ready. Now, the only thing is, unfortunately, I don't have my vape because I left my vape at a friend's house. So, I won't be able to vape on this video, unfortunately. But, I'm ready. And in the event, now, this one is strong, and we got a lot to talk about. In the event I get through this thing, the T, I already got another one on reserve, so you ain't even got to worry about it. I hope y'all got y'all shit ready, because I got mine ready. All right, and one last thing before we get into it. I know people have been wondering why, I know, I don't have the name I know. I know some people wonder why I haven't taken this to Blab. I'll be completely honest. It's actually you guys that make this segment what it is and being able to transcribe the comments because if we do this on Blab, what's up? If we do this on Blab, it turns into whoever's on the screen. <laughs> whoever's on the screen is like, it becomes a four-way conversation and everybody in the comment section is kind of like left out. So I like doing it here because we all get to interact and we all get to cut the food because I mean, it's going to happen. So enough with all the introductory bullshit. All right, y'all know I start out with the heavy stuff first, prayers. So a lot of people to pray for and families if things that happened in the last two weeks. All right, so the first is uh, there was an up and coming rapper in ATL. His uh, name was Bankroll Fresh. Uh, he was shot and killed in a uh, recording studio. Um, I think uh, when the police arrived to the scene, they were they uh, picked up like 50 shells. So, you know, it's one of those things where it's just like, you know, because I would assume he was trying to go from the street life and actually do something productive. But, you know, it's this is one of those sad instances where, you know, your past catches up with you. So, you know, let's send out prayers to his family. Yeah. It's crazy. It, it's it's really crazy. Like that shit threw me completely. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna save my boo thing for the last of the prayers. Um, Lee uh, Re Herman. Like I said, hopefully I did not say his name wrong. He is also known as Hawk. This individual was a part of the original American Gladiators. I actually grew up watching that shit. Well, he passed away recently. He passed away at the age of 49. He had a uh, recently had a hip replacement and they had been saying that as a lay uh, i think actually just shy of him passing away at home he was uh complaining about being in pain and whatnot and next thing you know he's dead and right now there is out there's um no uh they don't know what the cause of his death is just yet so you know let's just send prayers out you know to uh his family and uh, Snoop also lost his grandmother. Uh, I don't think it was this week. I think it was last week. And I know how it is to lose your grandparents and what they can do to you, you know. So send our prayers out to, you know, Snoop, Dog, Line, whatever we're going to call them. And uh, the last prayer is going to be, you know, let's send a prayer out to my boo thing, uh, Monice. Uh, she had uh, suffered too many strokes. Um make sure i got everything right and yeah, she's recovering from too many strokes so her right lung is uh inflamed and um pretty much yeah and it uh a lot of this apparently came from her uh smoking cigarettes 
and uh, she pretty much says that she's going to stop smoking. And the crazy thing is, she was actually in the process of stopping after seeing what happened to Big Ange. Like I said, that whole, like, what happened with Big Ange, it, it affected a lot of people. And shortly after that, realizing that she, she has a, a respiratory issue. And um, I did neither. I did neither. But uh, the, from what was told, it's really nothing that the doctors can do. But her body can naturally heal from it. So as long as she doesn't smoke again, it's going to take three years for her lungs and her, uh, the bronchi to fully heal itself. So, uh, like I said, I don't know about y'all, but I'm praying for Monique. Y'all know that I am. Like I said, I need for her to stay strong and continue to bring it. I need for her to continue to snatch up. Really? Okay, I didn't get that one. Well, you know, let's send our prayers to the family of Nancy Reagan. I, I honestly didn't know that. Like I said, I got as much as I could between last night and today, but that totally slipped through the cracks. So, so I keep them lifted up in prayer, you know, on this uh, beautiful Sunday afternoon. Now, before we get into the fuck shit, as we always do, remember that at the end of these, on your phone... Um, y'all know at the end, I like to, you know, pick who was our MVP of the week and who took the biggest L of the week. So y'all keep that in mind as we are going through these stories. So first and foremost, justice, a little bit of justice. Actually, shit, I'm a little parched. Hold on. There we go. Um, Brian, I think it's Inencia, as I say the motherfucking name. Um, the state trooper of the uh, Sandra Bland case. Well, he was indicted on perjury charges and authorities have begun the termination of uh, proceedings shortly after that. So it's one of those things where, you know, it's nice to see that there is some justice being served. Of course, you know, nothing can ever bring back that life, but it's nice to see that, you know, they're seeing through the bullshit because uh, he they pretty much, you know, he was pretty much just trying to say these were my reasons for pulling her over, you know, to keep her from causing further traffic, whatever. And I'm glad people pretty much call bullshit on that. So, you know, like I said, justice served. <laughs> I know. Right. Look at God. Come on now. OK, now, uh, y'all know that I like to give people nicknames and shit. So if you guys want, I'm pretty sure that I did this on my last year in the Topics video. So let's see if y'all remember uh, when I talked about uh, porky beans and hot dogs and kibbles and bits. So y'all remember who that was, who those two individuals were. And actually, let me put my reading glasses on because I know I'm about to get messy in the muffler. Let me go ahead and switch glasses now. So I go ahead and get messy. So do y'all remember who kibbles and bits and pork and beans and hot dogs work? Y'all know I get people nicknames and <laughs> not Tyrese to take. They go come late on it. Yeah, but it was Keisha Cole and Bow Wow. So <laughs> okay, Keisha Cole slot. Come on now. Come see. I told y'all y'all make this. Y'all 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 make this what it is. It's not just me. So. It's not really a whole lot to say about that, but uh, Keisha Cole has gone on the record of denying that she and Bow Wow, one, are in a relationship, and two, that she is pregnant. But that's not to say that Bow Wow did not deny these rumors last week. So, and, and you know, it's one of the things I will say this. It is kind of sad that, you know, don't nobody want to claim this hoe. Don't, don't nobody want to claim, you know, uh, pork and beans and hot dogs, okay? Don't nobody want to sit here and, you know, uh, claim government cheese, okay? Because, like, the same shit happened with Berman. It, it's one of those where it's just like, it has to be a sad day where don't nobody want your ass, okay? But that, that's all right, though. That's all right. Get your teacup and salsa. <laughs> so, like, for right now, the rumors are not true, but we both know that these two are attention whores, so... We'll just stand by and wait to see what else comes of this, but I don't believe it. Next, Miss Elise Neal. She is going, as of right now, she is quitting Hollywood Divas. Now, what happened allegedly is while she was on set, one of the uh, light fixtures hit her in the head. And the reason for her quitting is because the producer are not accepting their responsibility and paying for her medical bills. And I'm just like, okay, 
which I can somewhat see that, but my thing is, if it just hit you in the head, get the fuck out of here. Now, if it hit you in the head, it didn't cut you open and some other shit, I think that is something totally different. At the same exact time, I mean, they can go ahead and, I mean, I somewhat enjoy what, first and foremost, if they come to fuck back with the white sisters, there is a 95% chance I'm not reviewing this motherfucking season yet again. Okay, because I'm getting fucking tired of them giving us the same motherfucking bullshit. Okay, and I, I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Looney Tunes on that. You know, let, let me just move the fuck on because I, I really feel like dealing with with this hoe. Because I mean, it's just want like you want to quit. Okay, and it's not like I don't know. I just don't know what the fuck to say about Lee's Neal. But I, ne I never, yeah, exactly, but I was never checking for her anyway. So, moving on. So, a little bit of uh, the Real House Hills of Atlanta talk. Some of this is um, kind of what's being put out there right now. Uh, like I said, the reunion, from what I've uh, understood, has already been taped. And I guess the main center of attraction for who I'm going to talk about is one of the three people y'all know I do not see it for, and that is Miss Horsha Williams. So, uh, if you guys remember a while back, I did talk about her uh, getting into an altercation with, I think it was either her assistant or one of her PR reps. And allegedly, that altercation was caught on tape and it is also alleged that this particular footage is going to be showed during the reunion and not just that bravo is pretty much forcing her to go to anger management trying to save face and if and at most trying to keep her ass employed you know and there's a good chance that they that contracts might have to be rewritten, you know, to kind of compensate for that. So, I mean, but this is what happens when you have a motherfucking rabbit dog on your motherfucking hands. But I know some of y'all are Horsha Williams stands, but I mean, it is what the fuck it is. We're going to call a spade a fucking spade where you cannot sit here and physically control yourself. And the fact that she has already gotten into these other fucking confrontations already... And even though I, I don't I don't see it for, you know, Stonefoot Bailey no more, but because you got Chun Lee kicked in your motherfucking stomach and your puss, hey, that's what the fuck you get for standing up on motherfucking people. But what's gonna happen is Horsha Williams Oh, definitely, but what's gonna happen is Horsha gonna roll up on the right motherfucking one. She gonna roll up on the right motherfucking one, and that person is gonna smooth knock her ass smoothly fuck out. Now I'm not gonna sit here and talk about that nose job she didn't got because I really don't give two fucks about that. But she didn't got another nose job, so yeah. All right, moving forward. <laughs> And I feel like I'm breezing through this shit, but don't worry. Like, I, 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 we got some shit to talk about. Y'all know we do. I'm just trying to give y'all some of this shit, but we got more. Okay, we got more. Bobby Brown. Bobby! Bobby, Bobby Brown. Recently, he has uh, checked himself into rehab. Uh, he has been fighting uh, alcohol and uh, cocaine um, addictions. And a lot of people have a lot of shit to say about that. <clears throat> I'm going to say this. We all, we all know that Bobby has issues. We know this. <laughs> it's piping hot. We know that Bobby has issues. But one thing that I think a lot of people uh, lose sight of is life happens to everybody. So this is where I got. I guess I have to kind of give y'all, you know, the, I guess my little mother Teresa <laughs> right now. But we all go, like I said, life happens to everybody. And this man lost his ex-wife in a tragic way. And then recently just lost his daughter in a similar fashion to how he lost his wife. And, well, ex-wife. And everything surrounding that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's one of those where I don't know this because, again, I don't have kids yet. I say yet because, you know, fingers crossed, hoping that I have kids. But, um... No parent, from what I understand, wants to supersede their children in death. And then the manner in which that his daughter went. So I'm pretty sure he still hasn't coped. You have the media, well, the courts who have just made it to where the, um, I think, I don't know if it was all media outlets or just one media outlet. Oh, he's been through. Has access to, I think, the autopsy report of his daughter. I mean, there's just so much going on. Then you have, you know, his people and the Houston's and all this other shit like 
Bobby is going the fuck through. And sometimes, even though I'm not an advocate of it, sometimes, yes, people lean towards substances to get through. Because here's the thing. I don't know if I could go through what Bobby is going through right now. I know too much. So if anything, and the only reason why I didn't put this in the prayers is because even though I do want us to keep him in prayer, it's one of those where let's just understand Bobby is going through a lot. And you have so many people trying to, I hope it does too. I hope it works out for him, but you have a lot of people that want to kick him while he's down. But here's the thing, like, cause the whole thing is by right on a rehab. But if you take a step back and look at what he's going through, it's one of those where we can see it. But the real question is, What's going on? Stop. Get, I know, but that, I was going to say that for the end. Nah, so I'm not even going to acknowledge that one. But, um, you know, what is going on with his support system? He he does. He does. But even just with his support system, Pete, like those around him need to build him up. And at the same exact time, Bobby being in rehab right now, I hope that when, you know, he starts to come down and everything is purged out of his system, he will reevaluate who the fuck he has close to him and start snip, snip, cutting some people out of his fucking life. Because if you got people around you that are doing nothing but enabling this behavior, you don't need the asses around. We don't need yes men and yes women in our lives. We need motherfuckers that are gonna sit here and be our motherfucking friend, but tell us right from motherfucking wrong and get our ass smooth the fuck together, even if it means risking the relationship. Cause that's the those are the motherfuckers we need is the one that's gonna sit here and get our ass together, not the people that's gonna sit here and sit on the bench and just cheer for us because they know they're gonna get something from us. I don't want that. I need somebody that's gonna build me the fuck up and get me the fuck together. Because a real friend. We'll go, it's going to get your ass together, regardless of what the backlash is. And even if y'all break up, hopefully that person understands, like, you know what? This person was really trying to be my friend rather than, you know what? You 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 sitting here coming to me left, man. Fuck you. You feel what I'm saying? Yes. Real friends going to keep the shit 100 with your ass. And I'm not just saying friends. I'm also talking about family. You know what I'm saying? Because if, and if it's family, keep their ass, well, some people want to keep you at arms of distance. I'm going to keep your ass at country distance. If y'all don't know what country distance is, for those who live in the country and you know the amount of spacing between houses where you got to yell to get the other motherfuckers attention, that's how, that's how I keep some people. I, you know, I keep motherfuckers at a damn distance now. Okay. Okay. What's up, Sean Sanchez? How you doing, boo? That's what the fuck I do. So I hope that Bobby, you know, kind of, hey, I hope Bobby uh, really just, while he's in rehab, just has time to really reflect and kind of do what he needs to do to get back to where he needs to be. All right. Okay. So before I talk about, because like I said, I'm going to go for my cue cards to my tablet. Because on my cue card, we're going to talk about Caitlyn Jenner. We not finna talk about Caitlyn just yet. I know some of y'all, cause here's the thing. Unfortunately, we went the fuck in on Caitlyn last time. I'm going to save this because if y'all remember from the last time, I said I I probably should wait. I probably should wait. <laughs> I don't know if they did. Because, you know, my y'all know my sister's lady nigga. So I was like, I, I'm going to wait. And then I said, you know what, no. And I went into it. And then as I'm going through the shit, she pops in. So I'm going to wait till we can talk about Caleb. But here's the thing. For you, those of y'all who was on the last one, I did not. Y'all drug Caitlyn ass for utter fucking filth. But we're going to get there. We're going to get there. So let's talk about some love and uh, ATL. Now, these are casting rumors. But more, but I'm pretty sure these are somewhat spot on. Before I get to that, from what I'm understanding, they are already taping a Love and Hip Hop New Orleans, and because I and I even hit my sister Lady Nika about this, like you know they coming to your motherfucking uh, area trying to tape this shit, you know. And I think they're doing a Houston as well. Now I'm I'm low key in my damn feelings because. They need to go ahead and do a love of hip hop Chicago, but see Mona not finna do it because she afraid that her people gonna get shot. And um, cause you, cause here's the if you gonna do a love of hip hop, let, 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 let me talk to you. If you gonna do a love of hip hop Chicago, real talk, real shit, you don't need a fucking story like she don't even need to fabricate shit. Motherfucker, Chicago is your damn storyline. All you <laughs> you. I'm telling you with the fucking shit that go and here's the thing, you gotta go to the hood and the ghetto. 
Okay, you gotta go. I know it's real, baby. You gotta go to the hood and the ghetto, which means that because trust me, you could if you from Chicago, if you from the hood or the ghetto, you available for New Orleans. Like if you from the if you from the hood or the ghetto, I'm pretty sure you could step the fuck outside. You ain't gotta do shit but sit there, and you will see shit play the fuck out. You will see it. You feel what I'm saying? West side, south side. Well, you know I'm from the west side, but you know most of the shit gonna be on the south side though. But you know the west side, we have our issues too. But I'm just saying, I'm a little in my feelings about that because we got a uh, black ink crew Chicago. It gave me a little bit, just a little bit of what I want. It ain't give me everything that I wanted because for love and hip hop, if they do a love and hip hop Chicago, they gotta go in the gutter. But Mona gonna have to make sure their insurance policies are paid to full. Actually, they they need to make sure their insurance policy. Whatever. Anyway, moving the fuck on. These, this is the uh, casting uh, rumor for who's coming back to Love a Hip Hop ATL. Hold on. So, Mimi False is coming back. Now, I did not know, I really did not know that there was going to be somebody that was going to be able to hit the whisper better than motherfucking Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson can sing in a whisper. Mimi Fox will sit here and talk to your ass in a whisper. Yes, I want to know why the fuck she coming back to. Because, I mean, you know, I might have to treat Mimi like I've been treating everybody else right now. <laughs> this boet. Yes, that, this boet, baby. Yes, boet. I'm just, yes, whisper. Yes, she... Yeah, da, da, da. I, da, da. She talks to your ass in a motherfucking whisper, just like, bitch, I, I mean, I understand you a fucking woman, but, but I mean, you have drag looks to you, can you just let your balls drop and just speak with a little, child, I can't, I know you like shit, we just got done talking about, you know, Chicago a little bit, <laughs> she it, always hoarse like shit, can, can you pop a hole in your damn mouth or some shit, like, damn, like, what the fuck? I, I, and I was I was here for Mimi first season, somewhat the second season, but I can't with this hoe. And if y'all been watching my Love Hip Hop uh, Hollywood reviews, y'all see that I don't talk about Yandy or Mendeecee's ass. You feel what I'm saying? I don't talk about Dirty Feet Pete. I don't talk about fucking Amina or talk, like unless it's some different shit. I don't talk about that. I might have to treat Mimi the same damn way. Unless her and fucking Arian are fucking scissoring and shit, that might be the only way. Exactly what her storyline gonna be? I don't know. Like literally, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Ike Turner in the background every time. Just like I, why the fuck she here? Why the fuck she here? Ike? Like that's gonna be me on some real shit. Like I'm gonna have the Barbara Ike for fucking you know say Sean Bradley. Anyway, but Mimi Falls, Kirk and Rashida, motherfucker, why, why, why? Why? Like, it's one of those where you, ha I, I have to believe Rashida is licking Mona Scott's clit. That is the only reason I can see her ass come back, because she ain't giving a shit. She talks the most shit, but I swear she not going to swing. She not going to bust a motherfucking grave. She not going to do not a damn thing. Well, exactly what her storyline will be, too. I don't fucking know. I don't. Like, this is going to be a waste of my motherfucking time. Watching Love and Hip. I'm just like, Lord. But I think the only um, storyline, <laughs> yeah, Mona doesn't even stop. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, y'all. Say, Sean Bradley, come on, back. Uh The only storyline that I can see her having will be with uh, somebody that I'm gonna talk about momentarily. Now, Carly Red is coming back. Now, I know we gonna be. I know reviews gonna be mad as hell. I know Sean. Now, but. Carly Rae is coming back now. Before anybody say why Carly Rae, y'all know Carly Rae is the mover of storylines. Okay, you need her to sit here and push a motherfucking storyline. She the motherfucker that's going to run back and tell the T to get some shit stirring. So I got why Carly Rae come back. My question is, is Life Jennings coming back? Anyway, moving on. Yeah, she good. She she real good at being messy. Uh, Lil Scrappy is coming back with Bambi, and from what I've been hearing, they are engaged, so we might, if that is true, we're probably going to see that. Um, 
And we see Mama D coming back. Now, the fact that they said Mama D means that, because if you think about last season, they actually gave Mama D her own little uh, storyline herself. So she's somewhat a part of the cast. <laughs> Miss Millie to the book. Yeah, 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 for real, for real. Now, I want Mama D there only because if y'all been watching me, I had to quote Mama D because y'all know my personalities. They've been running the muck in the fucking palace. Like, uh, if y'all watch my channel, y'all done seen, it, you know, two of my personalities just pop the fuck up in some of my damn reviews, you know. Huh. So I had to, I had to quote Mama D, you know. And for in in the event y'all don't know, hopefully sooner than later, at the latest by the end of April, y'all should see, you know. Uh, my personality is coming out and fully giving y'all a show. All right, so it's it's coming, it's coming. Uh, Young Jock and Kadia is coming back. Lord, Young Jock and fucking Wiggly Tough is coming back. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I really don't. I really don't. I about to say Kadia when she get mad, she turns into Mimi Falls with talking with a motherfucking whisper too. Now. Unless we finna sit here. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, unless we finna sit here and see uh, Jock and all his baby mamas getting together. I think his, I think his legit wife, Alex, I want to see if they got divorced. Alex seemed like she would bring the motherfucking pain. Like, I want to see more fucking Alex. Okay, on some real shit, I want to see some more Alex. Uh, Tammy is going to be back, but we don't see young Jock. I mean, um... What's that boy name? I can't think. What's that? what's what her husband name is? Um, Tammy Walker Flocker. That is Walker Flocker. We don't see Walker Flocker, so my question is, what the fuck is Tammy gonna be here for? She might be a what? Well, see, Tammy is probably gonna be attached to fucking um Rashida. That's probably what's gonna happen because they. I, I mean, there's nothing else. There's nothing else for her to be there for. You feel what I'm saying? Um, Kalina and Tony. Now, this is why I think that Rashida is there because of Kalina. Kalina about that motherfucking lie on some real shit. Like, the only thing that will make ATL it for me. <laughs> Thumb down already. The only thing this would like, if I see Kalina literally lay hands on Rashida. I think I would be complete. I think I would be complete. I think that's the, like, that, because other than that, why the fuck is Rashida there? Kalina, Kalina trying to make her motherfucking money. Kalina got motherfucking talent, so I can see why she there. My only thing is, I didn't like that Tony portrayed himself as a fuck boy this last season, so I hope he fucking redeems himself for the fuck shit. I'm here for Kalina too, okay? And the very last person... Oh, was a for show bitch. For show bitch. And uh, Jessica Dime is going to be back. Why? I mean, she gave us nothing. And even when it was between her and Jocelyn, she still gave us nothing. Now, Stevie J, Jocelyn, and K. Michelle are rumored to make guest appearances. Okay. But they have their own show, okay? And we already know that Erica Dixon ain't coming back. If y'all watched the last Trinity Topics I did, I was in here shouting because she ain't coming back. Pra praise, praise, praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! Love and Hip Hop Talk. All right. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Talk is out of the way. That took a lot out of me. Yeah. I mean... <sighs> It's to the point now that they probably should just go ahead and just do a major cleansing and recasting. <laughs> Disrespect to these hoes. Just... <laughs> ah. Well, I mean, she is from the strip club now. I don't know anything uh, in particular about Love and Hip Hop New Orleans except for that they're taping at this particular point in time. So I'm pretty sure we're probably not going to know anything about it until like later on. So, yeah. <clears throat> so before I get into some more fuck shit, a little bit, I guess we could say uh, something that makes me happy. Uh, so February had marked a 20-year anniversary for 
the franchise Pokemon. I know y'all like, bitch, what? Yes, I still, I've played it. I still play it. I remember when it first came out, red, blue, and yellow, where the fuck I was. And they recently just released red, blue, and yellow as in its pure form as a digital download, which is a good thing. And we found out that also later on this year, they're going to come out with Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, I still been waiting for Pokemon motherfucking Z. We ain't going to motherfucking get it, though. It's not impossible to win. But it seems like they're adding so much more. And there were so many. You got Stadium? I, I had Stadium, too. Way back when. I don't have it anymore, but... <clears throat> But we can see that there are so many different um, anniversaries that are going to occur in the year of 2016. And like I said, Pokemon is doing 20 years. So, you know, big up to them. So I just want to talk about that right quick. Ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. Now that we got that shit out the way, let's go ahead and talk about some fuck shit. Just some fuck shit. Because I don't even know. Y'all let me know how far I should go into it. But um, I just want to read to y'all two motherfucking tweets. Pikachu me out. <laughs> I got two tweets I want to read to y'all, so. Because I want y'all to catch this, because she's some, like, whoo, who, somebody got silence, baby. Real? Okay. All right. You know what they are. They are. They they are. Like, it's a lot of, um, a lot of uh, games celebrating anniversaries this year. A lot. Now, here we go with, okay, so. Zoe Cell Donna. Now, y'all heard Sarah me say in one of my videos. I do think that she is fucking beautiful. I do. I'm not even going to fucking lie. Now, she uh, quoted on the 1st of March, and this is what she said. I tell you what freedom is to me. No fear. Dot, dot, dot. I mean, really, no fear. And this is all in parentheses. Hence, my name is... <laughs> okay, all right. And she did hashtag Nina Simone. And y'all know that she is getting ready to play Nina Simone in the biopic. Well... Nina Simone's cap came back. Now they did two tweets. I'm gonna go read one, and they said this. At now they added her at Zoe Saldana. Cool story, but please take Nina's name out of your mouth for the rest of your life. Drop the motherfucking pad and walk the fuck away. Now, I was just like, well, damn. Did they have to go, like, literally keep her name out your mouth? Not forever. For the, well, actually, they should have said forever. But they said for the rest of your life. Damn. I'm like, ex exactly. Motherfucker hashtag. I'm like, wow. And she ain't, I was like, whoo. All right, now they they want bullshit. <laughs> but, well, her cap did that, but I don't know. And like I said, I'm not gonna talk about the Nina Simone biopic or anything like that, only because enough people have covered it. You feel what I'm saying? So it is what the fuck it is. I just wanted to come and read the motherfucking, you know, shade. Okay. Because the fact that her camp shaded the fuck out of her in two fucking lines and one damn tweet. Now, they also did another tweet after that, but it's not the point. So, yeah. Yeah, forever. <laughs> Ooh, what else we got? Okay, y'all. So, she's only control to you like, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> forever. All right, so. Let's go ahead and talk about some shit. And this right here, it needs to be dialogue between us. So, apparently, and that's not even apparently, fuck the bullshit. Cat Williams went the fuck in, okay? Cat Williams just said, you know what, fuck it, I'ma just say some shit. Cat Williams, uh, during one of his stand-ups, had said some shit about Cat, I'm not Cat, about uh, Kevin Hart. Now, we all know everybody has cell phones, tablets, and shit when they go to different events and whatnot. I'm going to have to do that. I, I, I'm going to have to do that. Okay. But um, they, you know, people record shit. So when he began to talk about Kevin with a T, uh, somebody recorded and uploaded it. So, well, my whole thing is this. I have a written excerpt of what he said. Now, so before I even read it, 
if you don't, if you guys want me to read it, let me know. Because I know a lot of you are probably already abreast of what's going on. But if you guys want me to read it, I'll read it because we're going to talk about it. Because this is one of those where so much shit is coming from this. And there's a lot of back and forth. You say read it. Because like I said, go ahead and read. Oh, okay. All right. Well, since I have my reading glasses on anyway, let's go ahead and turn this into a, a story time. We're going to do a sto story time. I saw the video, please read. So, pretty much somebody for what is worth uh, transcribed it. All right. Oh, oh, oh let, oh, let, let, let you cut refill. Okay. So, now y'all know when I read, y'all can't type because I, I, I don't want to do the whole back and forth, okay? So, I've already proven that if the best they got in comedy is Kevin Hart, then no, don't boo a black man working hard, baby. Even if that nigga's a puppet, it's not my fault. We don't get mad. Just because I'm better than some black dudes doesn't mean I'm better than no black dudes. I'm saying if you want to be mad at Kermit the Frog, don't be mad at Kermit the Frog. Be mad at Jim Hansen. Don't say fuck Donald Duck when you really mean fuck Walt Disney. I don't really care what happens to Kevin Hart. I just wish him the best. I just know... We, we gonna talk about it. I, I told you don't be doing that while I'm trying to read. I just know that somebody's hand stuck up that baby. You understand? Oh, we're a puppet show. Boo, boo. Please believe it. You're looking at the only, you're looking at the only nigga that ain't. So since I've already proven to myself that I really am who Richard Pryor passed his torch to and that I was able to do it without letting a man I guess suck my dick or sucking a man's dick. Yeah, I walked in with a virgin as something. I walked out with a virgin. Oh, with a virgin asshole. I walked in with a virgin asshole. I walked out with a virgin asshole. I got the same soul today that I had when I did Pimp Chronicles all the way to the end of Pimp Chronicles. Yeah, I need to sip on, uh, on mine right quick. Now, this is one of those where we finna talk. Some of us finna agree, some of us finna disagree. But this is a safe zone, so we can say whatever the fuck we want to say. Let me go ahead and say that I agree with Cat Williams. Now, <clears throat> I think what the issue with this is, is that when you have... Because here's the thing... <clears throat> We hear sniff and sip all the fucking time. Okay. And I think what the issue was, instead of everybody that was fucking that sniffing and sipping, people started to add shit to it and putting the shit online to get people incited. All right. But if you really, well, here's the thing. His first two stand-ups I thought were fucking hilarious. You know what I'm saying? It was after those first two that I'm just like, okay, this shit is no longer funny, and what the fuck are you doing? Yet I can say the same thing for Cat Williams, the whole catopolis, whatever the fuck it is. I looked at like, okay, nigga, you could have kept that shit. You could have kept it, but at the same exact time, Cat Williams to me is legit funny. You feel what I'm saying? Now, when it comes to what he is saying, if if he, like people didn't catch the fact that you know, he says that, um, you know, he wishes Kevin Hart the best. So people act like he didn't say something good about this man. And what he is saying is, at the end of the day, he's truly saying, don't hate the player, hate the game, don't hate the person, hate the you know pretty much what is behind that person. And the reality is, if you think about a lot of uh, people in the industry, most of them are puppets. Point blank and the fucking period. You feel what I'm saying? Where when it gets to a point where they don't want to speak out about certain issues or say certain things, I agree with Cat too. I really do. Because all Cat is saying is just like, don't truly get mad at this particular person. You know, Well, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, I mean, of, of, of course, Cat is street, but here's the thing. But that is who Cat is, and we appreciate Cat for that. I just don't like how people are trying to come at him because, oh my gosh, you shouldn't have said this shit about uh, fucking Kevin. Why the fuck not? Everybody's free fucking game. Shit, I mean, even with the whole YouTube thing, we're all fucking free game. You feel what I'm saying? 
I said I like them both, but when it all comes down to it, I don't think Cat was wrong for what he was saying. You feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> now, the whole impl the implication of, you know, being fucked and all this other shit, I, it could be metaphor. It could be a literal fucking thing. I don't fucking know. And people want to talk about rituals and whatnot. I've never been a fucking, in the, I've never been in a fucking uh, fraternity and everything. <laughs> I'm laughing because somebody's watched uh, the video that I just posted. If y'all haven't watched that YouTube video, please watch it because y'all will get y'all fucking life towards the end of that video when I talk about when I made love to a uh, heater. If y'all haven't seen that shit on YouTube, when we get done with this, take y'all asses over there. Y'all gonna get y'all life. Yes, I said when I made love to a heater, y'all gonna laugh your ass off. But, um, you know, in some fraternities and some, and some sororities, you have to, and even in some fucking organizations, Y'all just gotta watch the video because I'm not talking about it over here because I've already talked about it over there. But in some, and there's many different factions and everything else, you have to do demeaning shit to be a part of it. In some fraternities and some sororities, yes, you have, well, more or less fraternities, you gotta get fucked by other dudes in the fraternity before your ass even fucking join. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit like this really does fucking happen. Now, do I put it past that the shit don't happen in the fucking, you know, entertainment industry? I'm pretty sure it fucking does. You feel what I'm saying? So, and I don't like how everybody want to say it come and cat. And I can't even say it like, bro, if you feel that you the funniest motherfucking dude, shit, let's put five mil on the motherfucking table. Now, the same shit happened with fucking Steve Harvey, but here's the thing, don't get it twisted. <laughs> yes, you do, AK. Okay. But and I'm and I'm not just saying sexual favorites shit, but you do crazy shit to get a part of certain organizations, factions, and establishments. That's all that I'm saying. So I'm not putting it past it. You feel me? So that's all that I'm saying. And all Cat Williams is saying is that I'm not gonna be that dude to be the next one in line. I mean, y'all see what the fuck was happening with Dave Chappelle and why Dave Chappelle back the fuck up just like, hold the fuck on. We not finna fucking do this. And and then he got painted as being fucking crazy. Nah, that's not what the fuck it is. He just is going to do what the fuck he wants to do. You feel, if if y'all understand what it is that I'm saying. Now, I mean, pretty much that is just it. You, you feel what I'm saying? Now, granted, Cat Williams has his motherfucking issues and shit. And rather than make fun of Cat Williams for these issues, again, he's another brother that we should sit here and keep lifted up in prayer. But it is what the fuck it is. So it's one of those where you could be Team Cat Williams or you could be Team Kevin Hart. Better yet, let's do this shit right the fuck now. Because we're going to say MVP and L of the week for last. Who y'all rocking with? Are you Team Cat Williams? Are you Team uh, Kevin Hart? Now, don't say I'm Team Self and shit. You're just going to be one of the two. I'm Team motherfucking Cat Williams. Oh, you Team both? Okay, I'm, I'm going to let you have that both. Ah, oh, y'all not even being nice. Y'all, y'all saying both. That's cute. Okay, all right. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and move. Okay, okay, we, we, okay. We got a team cat that Mister Salem sing. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, DVK sixty eight is pimping, pimping. All right. Now, okay, y'all. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Because I don't know if this was the original thing that I saw back when I was down on the buffet. We going to do it. This is what Sierra wrote. We're talking about Sierra right now. Important message for my fans regarding tour. Unfortunately, my upcoming tour is moving again. Why? I'm currently in the process of making the best album. Yes, we must. The best album of my career. I want to give all of you an incredible show. <laughs> Mr. Seldon, see, be nice now. Just wait till I get done. Then we can sit here. Don't do, oh, no, we finna do it. We finna fucking do it. We going to fuck in. All right. We let, we, we gonna, we gonna let, chat. we going to fuck in. Okay. An incredible show. A show that you deserve. Therefore, I got to stay focused in the studio and commit myself to this new music. I love you all, and I'm thankful for your unwavering support. 
actually her best album was The Evolution, in my opinion. I did like Fantasy Ride, but The Evolution. Um, I love you all. I'm thankful for your awareness support. I am excited for this journey and do look forward to seeing you. Love, Sierra. <laughs> the fuck out of here. So, let's go ahead and do it, y'all. Let's go ahead and fucking do it. I got the motherfucking glasses on, baby. Let, let, let's do the shit. Cause if y'all, if here's the, if y'all not finna do it, yeah, it has to. Here's the, if y'all not finna talk shit, damn it, I'ma fucking do it again. I've been gone for two damn weeks. We finna talk shit. We finna talk motherfucking shit. Who the fuck do your asses on tour? What tour? Who? Where to do that? That shit. Where, where to do that shit at? You was on tour, bitch. When? Bitch, where? Where the fuck was I? I just want to fucking know. Cause I don't know the shit. I'm just trying to figure the shit out. Shit. Yes, yeah, see error. I I mean, like I said, this shit is not computing. I was trying to figure it out, baby. Okay. And you are in the process of <laughs> I, I didn't know don't do CC. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry. It it has already been done. Okay, it has already been done. Oh yes, when you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Because he here's the she is working on the best. Working on the best album of her career. So, what you mean to tell me is you finna stop your coins for an album? Okay, alright, alright. Well, I'm gonna see you later. Plus, like I said, it's gonna be on YouTube later. Okay, later. But, so you gonna stop your coins to work on this album that you can still do when this shit is over and it's the best album of your fucking career uh, again that ship sailed a long motherfucking time ago okay but hey 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 but if she goes back to what it is that made her her she will be fucking good again her don't judge her vocals have improved over the years but go back to what made you you but you fucking up your damn coin now i got it your nigga got some money i got it but you fucking up your coins for an hour now here's the thing you if this album don't fucking sell that she's creating right now, this is going to be nothing but motherfucking pure egg on her motherfucking face. This going to be fossil fuel in her motherfucking mouth. If y'all know what that fossil fuel joke is, y'all might want to watch the video that I just uploaded on YouTube when we get done. Because y'all going to laugh y'all asses off, I'm just saying. I don't think she is his beard. I... Well, here's the thing. I don't, first and foremost, I don't, yeah, it was definitely a plug. I don't follow these celebrities and their lives and their careers and shit. Because I have my own. I just come on here and we talk about this shit and we have a good laugh and a good kiki. So, I hope that Sierra has a good fucking album that she is trying to come out with. So, hopefully it works out for you, Miss Sierra. Oh, that would work. Actually, that shit would fucking work. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is, you know? So, since we didn't talk about her, let's talk about some shade. Ooh, let's talk about some shade. Hold on, hold on. Y'all already know what I'm about to, what I'm about to say. Chap lips ain't sexy. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course. Well, I, and, and here's the thing. Like I said, I mean, everyone knows that when, unless you are the writer, the producer, everything on a fucking album, because it's the people behind the scenes that make the most money. You don't get your money unless you are on that motherfucking stage pipping your ass out. Unless you on that motherfucking stage popping your damn pussy for a motherfucking penny. That is where you make your damn money. So, hey, you know what, Sierra? Do what the fuck you do, baby. Okay. What you need to do is go ahead and get you some motherfucking endorsements and shit. But I don't fucking know if she does or don't because I ain't really checking for Sierra all that merch. Anyway, so let's talk about some shade, y'all. Let's talk about some shade because some shade got thrown like a motherfucker. So, Elton John threw some shade. Yeah, she, she could be a good model. Threw shade 
at the legend, at the icon, Miss Jackson, if you nasty. Mm. Through Shay and Janet, y'all. And, ooh, oh shit, y'all going in already. Oh, hey, he threw some motherfucking shade. Yes, threw some motherfucking shade now. Hold on, let, let me, let me, all right, all right. Now, you know she's doing her Unbreakable tour. <clears throat> well, in a recent interview, Elton John apparently was angry. And when he talked to the Rolling Stones, you know, because um, Elton John swore that he would never attend Janet Jackson's Unbreakable tour because the pop star is not actually singing. And he goes on to say, I know whatever the bleep is bleep. So I would say fucking music magazines writing a review of Janet Jackson saying this is the greatest show four and a half stars is fucking lip synced. Hello, dot, dot, dot. I'd rather go and see a drag queen. Fuck off. This is what Elton John said, so I'm going to give y'all a minute to say what the fuck y'all got to say because uh, I, I I need to sip on some tea. I need, I need to sip on some Long Island because this is a Long Island with no ice, so you know this shit is true. Oh, yes, that was shade. The devil that was shade. Okay. <laughs> Queen Elton. I mean, well, you know, shit, he, he came through. Well, first and foremost, first, first and foremost, let, 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 let's be clear when it comes to Janet, <clears throat> I cannot say this for every last one of her shows. Does she lip sing? Yes, it is. It's very hard to do calculated moves and sing. It is very fucking difficult. Now, Janet Jackson does not have a strong voice, but she is considered a soprano. She is considered a soprano. Oh, I know he did. And, and, and that was documented, too. But here's the thing. Janet Jackson has done all... Because we all know she lip sings. But there have been shows where she will stop, sit her ass down, and give you a little bit of vocals. A very light soprano. I, I, I got it. I'm just saying, but... You back? Okay, welcome back now. But what I'm saying is Janet has sat the fuck down and gave you some fucking vocals to let you know that she can do what it is that she set out to do. Now, we don't have a lot of... There's only a few performers that I can attest to. Oh, she does give vocals. She's not the strongest singer. But if Janet sits the fuck... Janet can do what she does. Let's not take that away from her. But there are, in my opinion, there are three art. She is a wispy soprano, but you ain't gonna read Miss Janet now. We ain't read Miss Janet, baby. There's three artists that I can say, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that can dance and sing flawlessly and effortlessly. Michael Jackson being one. Ursha Raymond being number two. And y'all not for the like who number three is because I know y'all uh, that wasn't okay that wasn't real okay I'm, okay number three y'all think I'm about to say a certain somebody but number three is Lady Gaga those are the three people that will get the fuck on stage and sing and dance for your ass those are the three I know somebody mad because somebody is like where the fuck Chris Brown at where the fuck he at. No, she's she's not a song Brett. No, no, Nicki Minaj is a song Brett. Okay, Britney Spears is a song Brett. She ain't no song Brett now. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I I, I forgot about Miss T four, Tina Turner. I forgot about Tina. But with Tina, Tina will sing and then go into her dance routines. But I forgot about Miss Tina. Let me let me not. I'm sorry. I forgot about Miss Tina. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because for those who don't know, Tina is a, not was, Tina is a bad bitch. If y'all Google Tina Turner, look at her back when she was in her private, look at her now. She looked like she aged slightly. Tina, come on, Tina, come on through, Tina. She, she can't, she can't. 
I'm young. Wait, wait, hold on. I, this is all off the top of the dome now. Okay. I forgot about Miss T the shit. I was in the, I was down under singing Proud Mary when I was out yonder shit. Okay, I was I was sitting there giving you both Tina and Ike motherfucking realness. Don't don't do it. I love you now. Don't do it. <laughs> you know what? Oh, some real shit. I love the fact that we are having so much fun. Like we are just sitting here cutting the fuck up. And I love this. I do. Before I continue on with the fuck shit. Are y'all enjoying this? I, I really do want to know, like, are, are we enjoying... Because, like I said, I had to come back. I had to give y'all something, and... I mean, what you... I'm not going to say Charlie dances, but, you know, Charlie gives us the shit. Okay, okay. I, I just want to make sure we're all enjoying ourselves. And here's the also real shit. I'm not saying this for Ego Boost and all that. I just want to make sure, because, like I said, I've been gone for two weeks. I just want to make sure that coming back for this... We are getting our entire lives. Because like I said, this is an interaction between the both of us. Because like I could put this shit on YouTube as is, but I like the interaction. And when we talked about Caitlyn Jenner last time, we'll be going to talk about her again. Y'all had me to... I came back show. Well, thank you. Y'all had me to the point where I couldn't fucking breathe on camera. That's what y'all did. So... The trending topics is not just me. This is us. It is a back and forth. It's a collaborative effort. So I really do enjoy it. Because y'all can be anywhere else this Sunday afternoon. But y'all here with me. So I really, really do appreciate it. So um, by show of hands, how many of you guys watched the original Megan the Bad? Oh, that, oh shit. Yeah, look. That can't let shit let, Look. If y'all don't have the traded topics in your favorites, if y'all have a like link, like a little a playlist of favorites, if that shit not in your, it's not because of me. If y'all don't have that shit in y'all favorites by virtue of what everybody else contributed to that shit, I don't know what's going on with y'all. Now I don't. Oh, you, oh, you watch me, the original made man. I'm just saying, like you did. Okay, I'm just saying, like. That shit was hilarious. Y'all had me over here gasping for air. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that one was the shit. I enjoyed y'all for that. Y'all made my fucking day and week. So, well, from the original making the band, <clears throat> uh, we are going to talk about Miss Sarah Stokes. Weirdly enough, I was actually thinking about her over the past uh, couple of weeks. I really was. I was thinking about the original Megan the Band. And it's kind of weird that I, we actually have a story about this. So apparently, uh, BET has a show called From the Bottom Up. I am not privy to this show. I'm, I'm about to tell you. I'm not privy to this show because on some real shit, I don't fuck with BET. I don't. Now, before anybody sit here and try to sit here and read the motherfucker, if you want to try, go ahead and try. Because I'm not about sitting here blocking people. You can talk whatever shit you want to talk. I don't really care. But, I I don't really see it for BET if y'all know me. Oh, it's on Centric. Well, fuck Centric too. But, I don't see it for anything BET related because, again, BET is no longer black owned. Let's be honest. But we're going to continue to call it Black Entertainment Television. It is owned by Viacom. Viacom also owns MTV and VH1. So if I want to see some ratchet. Oh, no, it is a Queen Let's Evil production. It is. It is. If I want to see ratchet, I can watch VH1. Get all the ratchet I want. Or I can watch MTV and watch Real World and, uh, you know, Road Rules or The Challenges and get all the ratchet that I need. You feel what I'm saying? But it is no longer black owned. BET is no longer what it used to be when I grew up. And most of us are in our late 20s, 30s, and some of us in our 40s. And if I got anybody here on our 50s and 60s, well, hey to y'all too. BET is not what it was when we grew up. It's not. It is something else. So, I did not know this show existed. But, Sarah Stokes, the only singing person from the group, the band is suing BET. So while she was uh, apparently locked up for uh, domestic violence, because apparently she is a uh, husband beater, <laughs> crack here, um, she was supposedly approached by Queen Latifah's people. Yeah. 
And they pretty much said they're starting this show and that it will give her a chance to kind of like rebrand herself. Well, apparently it made her out to be worse than what she already was. So in essence, she's going to sue BET for defamation of character. Now, my thing is this. I'm trying to figure out who the fuck cares. Because I don't. I'm pretty sure most of us don't. You feel what I'm saying? Like, most of us really don't give a fuck. <laughs> the original. Or, but here's the also real shit, though. I'm not mad at um Sarah Stokes for being a man beater. Because here's the shit. There was a story about Trina putting her hands on a fucking male fan. Because he got a little too... Mm -hmm, and she put that... She got that ass the fuck together. Now, you got Sarah So, who is a husband. Now, my whole thing is this. Y'all know I grew up in the West Side of Chicago. I grew up in the hood. My cousin, Claire. I love Claire. I fucking love Claire. I would more than likely kill a nigga over my cousin, Claire. You ain't... Me and Claire have been through some shit, okay? I We all... We were... I'm not finna spill my tea right now. Anyway, Claire didn't fall some niggas. Claire didn't put her hands on some niggas. Now, I'm not a fan of women putting their hands on men because I don't think men should put their hands on women. But when you find a woman that can sit here and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a dude and get that ass the fuck together, you got to be here for him. Now, Trina, yes, wax that ass. Tr tr hey, Trina already told y'all a long time ago she the baddest bitch. Who's bad? Sarah Stokes apparently can sit here. And now, I'm not going to say Sarah Stokes is, is a bad bitch. She, she might just have a weak ass nigga of a husband. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But she hasn't. A, Sarah Stokes apparently was not shown in a uh, great light. So she is suing because of that. And my whole thing is. You've been on a uh, reality TV before. You know what this shit is. And even though you had the... Because here's the thing. She had the opportunity to rebrand herself. And apparently her husband has said some shit that kind of somewhat fucked it up. That's your damn fault. Exactly. You signed us to be on the show. So pretty much what you and your husband put out there, they can only work with what the fuck you give them. So I'm not feeling no kind of way. But you know what, Sarah? Hey. I, I, just, I don't even know what the fuck to say. Yeah, read that fine print though, baby. Now, right quick, because y'all y'all know I like to talk to y'all, because my cup is like a third of the way full. Because y'all should have two cups right now. So I need y'all to let me know, with the cup that you brought, how full is the cup that you brought with you, and how full is the cup that I've been giving y'all? Because I need to know. Oh, they gave you crackhead tees? Oh, I, I believe it. I, I'm, I'm a third of the way through. What, where y'all at? Are you getting full? Oh, we, we about to get to the shit right now, baby. We about to get to the shit right now. I hope y'all been drinking, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, your cup is endless. All right now. Uh, endless, baby. Yes. We can't get... <laughs> so, all right. So, here's what we're going to talk about. Refills on deck. Hey, here's the thing. We just finna go with it. Cause half of, well, so much shit did happen. Now, <laughs> I got some shit for y'all. We, we, we just talking right now. This shit is good. This shit is good, baby. Apparently, Young Thug went just a tad bit too far. Cause the game had to gather. This, the game that came and snatched his dreads, the game that took all his damn tattoos off his face, the game took his damn dresses and put his ass in a fucking tuxedo, made his ass casket. Fucking shut the ca the game came for that ass, y'all. Lord, Lord, I'm just like, damn. Yes, yeah, like okay, so. I guess I should give y'all the back. Because if y'all don't know, I was here for this damn story. I was so fucking here. Before I give you guys this story, let's go back. Some trending topics ago, I talked about pedophiles unite. And I was talking about Tiger 
and Young Thug. Oh, ca casket ready, baby. He he silenced this motherfucker. We getting there. Now, we're not going to talk about Tiger because, you know, Tiger apparently is trying to say that the Lord brought him and uh, Kylie together, but we're not going to talk about Tiger. Oh, no, he don't. He don't. He really don't. So what happened is uh, way back when uh, Young Thug, I guess, was inboxing the lady and pretty much telling her that her young uh, son looked mighty uh, sexy and shit. Okay. Yeah, violated. And her son was a fucking toddler. So what happened is... The game posted a picture of his daughter. So y'all, hopefully y'all can see that. And she's a, be she's a beautiful little thing. I'm not even gonna lie. Now, and actually I'm gonna hold up here just a little bit so y'all can somewhat see. Hopefully it's working for y'all. And y'all can somewhat see... What Young Thug said. So he says, such a cutie, her eyes wish she was my kid. Now, why he do that? Why he do that? Why? Why? Because <laughs> I really want to know why, y'all. I really do. Because we know 50 ain't got no chill. We know game ain't got no motherfucking chill either. And the difference between 50 and the game is game will roll up on your motherfucking ass right quick. Game has been known to be in the hood. Game has his fucking hood rep still. You feel what I'm saying? So why the fuck would you do this shit with a nigga that you know if he saw your ass on a motherfucking street, you gonna be going you you will be casket sharp. You gonna be casket motherfucking ready. Fuck it. Y'all. Game came with that motherfucking ether, y'all. Okay, so. <laughs> I need to sit my dick. Because I'm about to show y'all some shit. The game. <laughs> the shit was so funny, y'all. I don't be checking for none of it, but I, I have to, I research these topics for y'all. Because I know if I get a kiki, y'all gonna get a kiki. Y'all about to lose y'all damn minds with it. Hold on, hold on. Because I'm a little bit parched. Here we go. This is what the game posted on his motherfucking IG, y'all. I'm going to hold this up for a minute. <laughs> Somebody got bodied. Somebody got buried. Yes, just bodied. Yes, he bodied him. Buried. Do y'all see this shit? Okay. <laughs> now we all... Yes, motherfucking time. Yes. Like with this shit. I, I saw this shit. I was like, game. You bo actually he wasn't even boating. He was old time with that. That was an old time motherfucking read for that ass. But I'm just like, you ain't having to bury this nigga like that, though. For oh shit, I got so much life off that shit. You don't understand. And he now here's the thing with the picture he read. Hey. You ain't have to delete the post, though. I appreciate you for the compliment. In fact, your daughter cute too, bruh. Sincerely the gay. Now, had Young Thug simply said, <clears throat> your daughter looks very beautiful. And left it at that, it wouldn't have been an issue. But we all know about Young Thug and the fact that you didn't came for this nigga. He came for your ass. Cause we ain't heard shit else about this. And when I say you got buried, young thug got motherfucking buried. There ain't shit thuggish about your ass, but you got buried. Oh, y'all have no idea. That shit had my ass in stitches. Now. Hold on, y'all. 
And then the game finished with a picture of his daughter sleeping and says, good night, beautiful baby. Rest comfortably knowing your father will give his life in your honor. Hashtag you've been warned. Hashtag pray with this one if you want. I'm sorry. Play with this one if you want to. Hashtag I'll trade it off for you. Hashtag no regrets. Papa Bear that came the fuck out of hibernation. It's springtime, bitches. It may not feel like spring. It's springtime, bitches. Or oh, it's almost springtime. Bears coming out of hibernation. You better stop fucking with them motherfucking cubs. Okay? Oh, yeah. Trey, like, Trey, here's the thing. Cause we, we talk a lot about, you know, women and their eggs and their children is no different than a real man and his fucking children. You don't you do not do shit like that. Like, you will lose your fucking life talking about somebody and they, talking about somebody fucking kids. You will lose your damn life. I don't have kids right now. Quick story time. Cause I, I said this before, but this is a quick story time. Now, um, I have three nieces and one nephew. And anybody that... Uh, if anybody ever watches this and y'all know my family, know my dynamic, catch that shade. And I'm going to leave it there. But my oldest niece, like I, like I said, I love my I love my uh, my oldest brother's children. I fucking love them. He better run. He better run. But I, I love I love my uh my nep my nieces and my nephew. I love them. I really do. I have treated them like they were my own. So my oldest uh, niece, you know, she grew up having, you know, some issues. You know, uh, I think it was more or less skeletal, but I don't want to be, I don't want to like really say say that. But I knew that there were issues and whatnot. And like I said, when I say I love, I love hard. You feel what I'm saying? And when it comes to females that I'm close to, you don't fuck with the females that I'm close to because my family dynamic on my mother's side is mostly women. So we don't do that. Exact, exact. I, I feel. So I was um in grammar school, and you know I showed a picture of my niece. So you know, people that I was in the motherfucking you know cafeteria lunch table with one dude up and said something. I don't even remember what the fuck he said, but just know that my ass posted up. I was about ready to sit here and end his motherfucking life because I made that shit clear. You say one more, because he made one comment. I'm gonna let you. You say one more damn comment. I guarantee fucking t you. You finna have a bad motherfucking day because you not finna talk shit about my. Of course, she's not mine. This is my fucking niece. When I say that I have literally raised my nieces, not really my nephew. Not really my nephew because he, I said I was older when my oldest brother had my, uh, you know, had his had his son. But I have raised them. I have raised some of my fucking cousins. So you not finna come with the bullshit. I was five years old helping to raise and watch newborns. But when it comes to my nieces and my nephew, I wish the fuck you would. Wish the fuck. When I tell y'all... I. I will go from having decorum and being fucking distinguished to being on your ass quick, fast, and a motherfucking hurt. So I know what the fuck this shit was. So when I saw this shit, I was just like, you know what? I fucking feel you. Because I would have been that. Okay, you know, let me not incriminate myself. Because I, I feel that I'm I'm probably about to incriminate myself. You wish you had any said I wish I had children of my own, but... In due time, you know, hopefully the wife and the children come. So, oh, I get you. Zero fuss when it comes to niece and nephew. I feel you. All you really miss is just, you know, um, the game posted a picture of um, his daughter, young thug, uh, made a comment, and uh, it was made very clear by the game that, uh, <laughs> yeah, your daughter cute too with a picture of it and shit. That shit was funny as hell. So. Uh, I, okay, I don't wish I, mm -mm. we we not gonna talk about siblings because because in talking about that I'm I will spill too much of my own tea. We're not gonna do that. So so there is that, and I was here for what the fuck the game did. I am, I really am, and you know even when I talk on here, I know that I expose too much of myself because even in me saying how I feel about my nieces and my nephew, you know, oh uh, we we gonna talk about Tyrese in a minute. You have. Oh, I, I got you. I, I um, 
I have three nieces, one nephew, my middle brother, uh, he and his uh, high school sweetheart, they are expecting their first child. So, um, and I actually need to talk to my brother and figure out what the uh, gender or sex of the uh, baby is. But, um, yeah, you know, 29 years old, this guy, no wife, no girlfriend, no kids. Alone, alone, but this is not about me and my fucking life. But I understand, I really do understand. Oh, damn, 10, shit! Oh, Lord! Shit, my fucking uh, father, I think he, like I said, he has 15 brothers and sisters, collectively. That was, whew, that was back in the day, baby. Back in the day, baby. <laughs> 37. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, but, you know, our, and like I said, I, I really, I do just want, like I said, I'm, I guess I'm spilling my own tea. I, I really do want to have a child of my own, but personally, I want to go about doing things that, I don't want to say the right way, because I'm going to feel like Elise Neal. I want to go about doing things the traditional way. Beautiful tea. Thank you. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. As you know, but um, like I said, I want to be married, you know, have time with the wife, and then I want to have children. I want to do things the traditional way rather than doing things, you know, the current way. You feel what I'm saying? Have 14. Okay, okay, okay. I got you on that. I don't want to say the right way because, you know, it's it might be the right way for us, but it's not the right way for other people. So, and again, like I said, my whole thing is like, I never, like, I never want to sit here and force what I believe on people, but I don't want to shit on other people for their beliefs either. That's why I say the traditional way, because I do believe that if you do shit the traditional way, a lot of fucking heartaches and bullshit that a lot of people go through, you would not go through. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, you do what's right for you. But here's the thing. Like I said, I'm 29 years old. Had I done what other people do? I probably would have multiple baby mamas. I would have multiple children and be in a situation that I probably would rather not be in. So me personally, you know, it's just it's what the fuck it is. So, but we're gonna move on because we didn't went from Trinidad Thomas to my tea. Not what we're here to do. All right, so, all right, y'all. <laughs> I want you guys to let me know because the last of this video is going to be on positive shit. But before we get to the positive shit, I need for you guys to let me know who we're about to talk about next. So it is up to you guys. Oh, it is. I know it's a good conversation. <laughs> so you guys let me know. Are we going to talk about Caitlyn Jenter? Or are we going to talk about... Tyrese, aka Teresa, Tank, aka Tanaka, and Genuine. So, who are we gonna talk about? Are we gonna talk about the three bitches? Or are we gonna talk about Caitlyn? Y'all let me know who is next. Because I think we should talk about Caitlyn and then end with the bitches. Y'all let me know. Okay, so Caitlyn. So, Caitlyn, Tyrese, all the bitches, all the above, yes. All three bitches. Teach okay. See, that's why you said Caitlyn is irrelevant. That's why I feel like we should talk about Caitlyn first, so we can end a little bit more dynamically. Okay, so y'all want to talk? You know what? I'm going to go against the grain. I'm gonna talk about Caitlyn first. Exactly. I'm gonna start with Caitlyn first. Then we gonna get into the bullshit with TGT. T G yeah TGT because there is a bullshit there. Okay, there is a bullshit. There. Okay, so. Again, another raise of hands. How many of you all were either here or watched the video <laughs> where we talked about Caitlyn Jenter and her wanting to start her own uh, cosmetic line? How many of y'all remember that? <laughs> he was here. And for those of you who weren't here, I'll leave a link to that video in this in, in here. I'll, I'll leave that for you guys. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so because here's the thing. Funeral <laughs> make Yes, bitch! Yes! Yes! Alright, so y'all were here for that. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I fucking love y'all. This is why I love y'all. Yes, I'm saying <laughs> number five. 
Ooh, y'all gonna have me fall out of this damn chair. Whoo. Okay, hold on. See, y'all about to have me out of breath again. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. So, Caitlin, we're going to talk about two things. The first thing is this. Caitlin is ready to date men. One, I want to know who the fuck cares, but hey, Chris, Chris, I'm not even to call you Chris, nigga, nigga. Chris, bruh, let me holler at you, Chris. You pimping these hoes. Chris, you is pimping these. Now, Chris, I need you to get Kanyetta ass together. Okay, Chris. Chris, I need you to get Kanyetta's ass together because this is a hoe that is out of line now. Mm, okay, so Chris, I need you to get that hoe together. But Chris, you pimping these hoes because now I guess what the storyline for Caitlyn going to be now she won't dick now. But then she won't dick before. I'm pretty sure you knew that. But I don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah, yes, Madame. Yes, yes, Madame. I'm, I'm just saying. But she, I, I just wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one with Chris right quick. Because you got all your bitches in line with the except of Kanyetta. So I'm going to need for you to do a better job of having your motherfucking hoes in line. Okay. But apparently, Caitlyn is interested in uh, dating men. Interested. Okay. But this shit gets a little bit more interesting. That's just one thing. I just want to put that out there. But here's the thing that is interesting. Because there's one thing we talked about last week that is someone coming to fruition. But it's the second half that I somewhat have an issue with. So, we talked about Caitlyn Jenter wanting to start, wanted to start her own cosmetics line, right? Well... No, now, this is one of two things. Number one, Caitlyn Jenter is now the face of uh, MAC. If y'all caught that, it's now the face of MAC. Caitlyn Jenner is now the face of MAC Cosmetics. I'm going to give y'all 30 seconds to a minute to put y'all replies in it. Oh shit, damn, y'all quick with it. <laughs> Hell no, y'all what? That's be a <laughs> Ronnie and shit. Hey, we we not coming for Jaden no. We we not we not we not gonna do Jaden like that now. Oh yeah, of course she, of course she's a troll, yes. Mm-hmm. You wear Mac well hey, I mean he's he he the face now, okay. You know what? I I wouldn't be opposed to T.S. Madison being. I really would. I really would not. But see, here's this is where the shit's going to get very fucking interesting. Laverne Cox wouldn't be bad either. Wouldn't wouldn't be bad. No. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Caitlyn is now the face of Mac. But here's where this shit gets good. What? Well, you know, okay. Well, I said he's still a kid, but y'all, okay, y'all have already heard me, okay. Actually, let me write this down, because I do want to talk about this, and I want to talk about it in a different light, because I, I really want people to understand my view, and because <laughs> I, I do want people to um understand what, like, what I mean by this. So I'm writing this down so I don't forget. Because y'all know I've been drinking. I, I, I've been drinking on camera, so it ain't a secret I've been drinking. Now, though Caitlyn Jenner is the face of MAC Cosmetics, they're going to... Oh, fuck, I lost... Hold on, wait, wait, wait now. I'm trying not to fall out this damn chair because I done lost my key card. Okay. But Caitlyn is going to come out with a limited edition uh, lipstick. And... All proceeds. You drinking too? Okay, come on, come on now. Bottom, bottoms up, baby. Bottom, bottoms up. Mm hmm. But um, Caitlyn um, oh, excuse me. All proceeds. I'm sorry. Are going to go to um, or they're going to be donated. Watch this to Macy's. I'm sorry, not Macy's to Max. 
AIDS Fund Transgender Initiative. So before I say what I'm going to say, I'm going to give y'all a second. This is going to Max AIDS. Not aid, but AIDS as in the fucking, you know, autoimmunodeficiency syndrome. Fund Transgender Initiative. And <laughs> get the fuck out of here. I know that's not. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to give y'all a second. Mm -hmm. Is it one I mean, yeah. You know, here's the thing. Y'all need to holler. He does. He does. Y'all need to holler at chaps that can tell them they need to endorse me. Because y'all know I be using chaps to go on just about every motherfucking video now. So here, here's my thing. Last year, um, everybody has something to say about Carmass ain't bad either. I actually do like beeswax. I do like I do like Burt's bees. I I, I I like it. I haven't used it in a while, but I love it. But I'm gonna say this. What, everybody has something to say about Caitlyn last year. And if you guys have did not watch the um video that was done by me and others last year, and we even talked and Caitlyn even came up, it, the shit was talked about. My thing is on some real shit. Oh, it, 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 ain't, it, it ain't about me reading people. Just like in general. L look. Personally, chap lips are not sexy. And I'm very self-conscious about my lips. So if I know that I... Like, because even if I know that my lips are moistened, but I don't have chapstick, it's one of those where I kind of like overdo it and everything. And then like my lips are fucking white. Like when I say I have a plethora of fucking chapsticks on my ass at all times, I do. I do because ch chap lips is not good. It's not. I, I hate having chap lips. I do. I might do my fucking Ella Cool J, but after a while, my ass look like a motherfucking crackhead because my lips so damn white. I'm just saying. But <laughs> everybody read Caitlyn's ass. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for saying that. How am I teasing? How am I teasing y'all with my lips? Here's the thing. I might tease y'all with my tongue. My tongue is another entity all in itself. Misty Built Man. But when it comes to, like, my lips is what my lips is. Now, my tongue, again, my tongue, I've said this in a video before, a tag video. My tongue does what the fuck it wants to do. I did not know that my tongue does this action until I started doing YouTube. I was just like, why is my tongue doing that? You know what I'm saying? Like, so I didn't know. So don't, don't do that. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Anyway, but um, everybody had their shit to say. Again, I <laughs> had their shit to say about Caleb, but my thing is this. Many of us did talk about... <laughs> not the talk. Many of us said that Caitlyn it has don't give a fuck about the transgender, give, doesn't fucking care about the LGBTQ, same gender community, whatever you want to say. N nothing. Because even when Caitlyn Jenner trying to blush... Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. But what I'm saying is, it's like with the whole Caitlyn Jenner thing, <clears throat> and that's what I'm about talking about on Ellen, talking about marriage and everything else. Caitlyn Jenner was just like, mm. my, I know my tongue has a, a definite amount of his own. So Caitlyn Jenner is not here for anybody but Caitlyn. So the fact that you're going to come out with a limited edition lipstick, which means that it's only going to be out for a certain period of time, which means let's build this hype behind it. And all proceeds are called bullshit. But all proceeds are going to the Mac AIDS Fund Transgender Initiative. You're trying to make up for the bullshit that you did before. But you're not, but like, because my, my whole thing is this. And I'm going to talk about, I swear I'm going to talk about it later with Jaden uh, Smith. <clears throat> you don't give a fuck about transgender. Caitlyn Jenner is fucking selfish. If you guys have not watched the last season of South Park, I laughed my ass off at how the fuck they portrayed Caitlyn. 
laughed my ass off. <clears throat> I have no issues with transgenders. I have a friend that, you know, because we both converted to Judaism. When I was uh, back at um, Alabama, back in 2000, and I think it was 14, saw him dressing up in for what it were what it was worth drag and you i had and uh, other people just like oh my god da, 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 da. i embrace him because just like regardless of what the fuck he decides to do with his life i'm all about you living your fucking truth so if this is what the fuck you want to do i got an issue with now he tried to motherfucker just like he was just like why don't you pick me up and spin me around so you know i i picked his ass up gave him a motherfucking spin around the shit okay but it's one of those where I have, like I said, I have no issues with people living their lives as long as the life that you live does not destroy the life of another. But we're going to talk about that towards the end of this damn video because I'm going to say some shit. I'm going to get the fuck on my high horse and we just going to roll the fuck out with it. So, you guys let me know if I can move on to the uh, TGT shit. Cause that's all the fuck I had to say about Caitlyn Jenter. And I really wish my sister Lady Nika was on here. I really do. <laughs> I I played it on there too. I did it. The shit like that was a good game. It, it really was a good game. I'm not even gonna fucking lie. I haven't played. I think it's called the Stick of Truth. I haven't played that. I have not played that though. I might have to fill my fucking cup back up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about the motherfucking TGT. Now this shit right here. Your boy was through. Yo boy was fucking through. With the shit that came. Like I still have to put my fucking head down you guys. Like I really do. When the bromance go left, so that means that y'all saw this shit. That means y'all saw this shit. Okay. So let's get into it. Now, y'all remember when I talked about Tanaka? Okay, let's go ahead and get the names out of the way. Tanaka is Tank. Teresa is Tyrese. Now, Genuine does not have a name, but he does deserve a name for this. So, for Genuine, I'm thinking about Jenny, but y'all let me know in here what we're going to call Genuine. Because Genu Gina, okay, okay, so, okay, we got Gina. So, we got Gina, we got Jenny, what else we got? Because on some real shit, like, Genuine showed his ass. Jen Yuan showed his motherfucking ass. Virginia Wine. Okay, that's too that's too merch. Did we say Jenny Wine? I don't know if I said okay, Jenny Wine. Jennifer. Okay, okay, Jennifer. No, because last time I was trying to figure out what we were gonna call Tank. I didn't really agree on what we were gonna call Jenny Wine. Okay, so I have four names, y'all. I have four names, so y'all let me know. I miss Ada, it's running right back in here. What's up, boo boo? Hey, hey, dear. So, y'all let me know for genuine. We're either gonna call genuine Gina, Jenny, Jenny Wine, or Jennifer. Y'all let me know between those four names. Tank already has his name, Tanaka. We already got Tanaka. So, between those four names, what are we gonna call genuine? Jenny. Okay, so I got two for Jenny, one for Jenny Wine, three for Jenny. Okay, so I, I guess I guess okay, two for Jenny Wine, four for okay. All right, so I think Jenny wins it. I think Jen. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. I think Jenny won it. Okay, so 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 Jenny. All right, so so let's go ahead and talk about this right quick. So a lot of shit spilled over. So I don't know if you guys were here for the last one because y'all know we do this every damn Sunday, minus like last week, <laughs> every Sunday. Um, it kind of came out that there were issues with the whole TGT. 
And you had, he said Reed, you had um, Tank and, I'm sorry, you had Tanaka and Teresa trying to sit here and solicit and trying to get, you know, Jenny back in the mix. Jenny ain't saying shit up until this point, y'all. Now, cameras, so TMZ cameras call Tanaka and kind of, you know, asked him about, you know, the real reason why they broke up. And Tanaka said, Teresa still doesn't want to split the money equally. So we're done. Oh, shit. Trouble in paradise, bitches. Now, Tanaka had posted a post on his damn IG and to not and it said this don't you want to get your record played on mainstream radio hang out with me then lol at Therese aka Therese I know trouble in romance I will expose you stop hashtag RB money Hashtag SLP2. Hashtag at now. Hashtag SLP2. Hashtag the general. Apparently, Tanaka has an album out. I don't know about it, but I still ain't heard damn Teresa's album, but it is what the fuck it is. So, Teresa had uh, her post. Teresa said, you thought I was going to let shit fly, T. <laughs> Being number one for 16 weeks has its benefits. I guess I'm real. Hashtag R&B money. His album is straight. I still, I still have to get both their albums. I have, I again, I y'all know a nigga busy. I can't speak for nobody else. My ass is busy, so I, I'm a high. I really am. Father Teresa, uh, I don't know if he, if Mother Teresa more or less, Auntie Marisa, I don't know about Father Teresa. But we not done. We not done now. Tanaka had another post. Now the picture says he plays Drake, but I write his verse. My verse and produce a song. Puzz, look at my chest, LOL. <laughs> He's selfish. And then below the picture, it says, Don't go down this road at Therese. There's too much truth at the end of the street. I know too much ego. People ask why social media. Well, if he don't. If he if he won't be accountable to us, maybe he'll be accountable to the people and the fans who want to who uh, just want great moments in RB music. Tank is a queen. Well, fuck. If Tank is a queen, then what the fuck is you know Petty Queen? What the fuck is Teresa then? What the fucking patriarch? Like I want to know. Like sh y'all, come on now, y'all. And is there more to that? Okay. And then we're going to end this with the... <laughs> way big quick. So we're going to end it with this, you guys. All right. Tanaka said that Mother Teresa... Yes, Mother Teresa, baby. Yes, Mother Teresa. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Teresa, bitch, for real. So Tanaka said, as a man, all of you have... All you have is your word, which is true. When you give your word, especially to family, you should honor it. True. Tyrese, aka Teresa, agreed to split the money equally and then switched up at the last minute. That's the truth for GTG fans all over the world. Gene Wine is touring. I didn't know that, but okay. <clears throat> My Sex, Love, and Pain tour sounds kind of close to um, Trey Songz's tour. Sarge March 7 and Teresa has big movies popping. We'll all be very okay, but would it be. I'm sorry. But would it not be, would it not have been nice? I'm, I'm sorry, that's what it is. I can't talk worth the damn. Okay. Now, I need for y'all to do me a favor. Give me a second. I need to remove myself for about a good one minute because I sort of kind of have to relieve myself.
because I've been here for a while. I've been sipping. So y'all keep talking. Don't go nowhere because we got to talk some shit. Give me a second. Hold on. Yeah, y'all. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. I I I, I really did. Like I I've been here for a good minute now, and I've been drinking the whole damn time. You so nice like to read. <laughs> so okay. So here's what I'm gonna say about this because a lot has come out. A lot truly has come out. So because people are saying that because Teresa is a household name for what it's worth, that everything is okay. But here's what I'm going to say about this. <clears throat> We're not talking about that. Teresa has, you know, decent uh, claim to fame in Hollywood. But this isn't a Hollywood movie. This is music. You feel what I'm saying? So when it comes to money, if this shit is not already laid out on the table before, then <clears throat> we have an issue here. Now, we are not done. We are not done because before we truly go in and let have, I want to play one thing for y'all asses because y'all, the only reason that I said we needed to give Genuine a fucking bitch name because Genuine ass done tried it. Jenny didn't motherfucking try it, y'all. Hold on. Let me get this damn video. Jenny tried it. I ain't lying. Cause I saw this shit today. And I'm like, really, nigga? Really? Like, I I was too through. I was too through. Hold on. God, I want to see if my tablet's going to pull it now. If my tablet doesn't pull it up, then I'll talk about it. And it doesn't. Okay, my tablet's not going to pull up. Damn it. Okay. My tab is not going to pull it up. So this is what happened. Tanaka and Jenny got on camera and started saying, wait, hold on, wait. I think it's popping up. But they started making fun of, um, oh shit, hold on. They started making fun of um, Tyrese's uh, skin color. And, we, and we've all talked about motherfuckers being they light skin fillers and shit. But what I will say is, I did not, and it's not gonna pop up, so fuck it. But if y'all go to bossip.com, you saw it, okay. I wasn't, I wasn't here for it. I, I wasn't here for it. Because as a black man, I do believe that, and first of all, because here's the thing, y'all know me, y'all see my hair is natural. I love natural hair. I think that all black beauty, to include Zoe Sandana, even though there's shit that's surrounding her, all black beauty is beautiful. But what you don't do, and we all sit here. He he does talk too damn much. But what my whole thing is this. When you he was a queen. I don't like that we sit here and play the whole um color game with ourselves because all that that is doing is that is further destroying us as black people and it's causing further divides and for both Tank and I'm sorry for Tanaka and Jenny to do that to, now mind you I am not here for Teresa's bullshit but I understand that behind closed doors we do this shit and it's still not good but black is beautiful all fucking shades of black is beautiful. But sitting here saying, uh, oh, I can't see you where you at. You wouldn't eat like that shit right there. I was not here for that. Exactly. And they're making it a whole light. Dark thing, and I don't, I, I swear, I don't fucking like that. I don't like that shit angers me because as black people, and if it's any white people watching, if you get upset, I'm sorry. I really, <clears throat> I, I, I'm sorry, but I'm really not sorry. But 
as black people, we have been fashioned to think that the lighter skin you are, the finer hair you have, the more colors your eyes are, the more beautiful you are. No, all black is beautiful. All black is beautiful. Whatever beef y'all had is what beef y'all had, but when you start bringing the color into it, that is when it's a fucking issue and that leads me to believe that both of y'all motherfuckers are self-hating black motherfucking dudes and i don't like this shit i don't give a fuck if you did ask out the race i don't fucking care because by virtue of my fucking religion chance of me finding a black jew that meshes with me is slim to fucking none but that's not the fucking point i am proud to be a fucking black man i'm proud now y'all don't post these y'all know i can't read all this shit the same hold on now I'm sorry, I, I can't read, because, like, four things that popped up at the same time, I'm sorry. But I'm a black man, all right? Both of my parents are black. I do have other lineages in my fucking DNA and my history, but I am black. My hair is natural. Y'all see this? Y'all see, see how this shit sticks out? That is natural fucking hair on your ass. I ain't got shit to fucking have. I'm not finna rock a motherfucking fade. Why? No, I'ma rock my hair. And you know what I'm saying? I, I'ma rock this shit natural. I am proud to be black. I am proud to have natural fucking hair. I am proud of my my fucking nappy, coily, curly fucking hair. These are things that I am proud of. But when, yes, the fist, y'all. Even though Black History Month is over, Black History is never over. But I don't like when we sit here and we downplay another fucking brother or woman by virtue of their hair or their fucking skin. I fucking hate that with a fucking passion. Because the funny thing is this: why the fuck you sitting here? And you know what? Fuck you know what? Fuck it. We hold on. Let let hold on. I'm finna, I'm finna finish. Hold on. Mm -mm. Why the fuck we doing shit like this? I'm on my high horse. I'm on, I'm on my high horse. What hold on? I'm on my high horse. First, before I say anything else, for my ladies and for my for my dudes that get relaxes and perms, what I'm about to say really is not directed towards you because you do what works for you. But what I'm about to say is this. That's some bullshit. You full of your motherfucking selves. It's some self-hating ass shit. It takes us back to the fucking 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and the fucking 80s. That's what this shit takes us back to. The fact that you hate this shit so fucking much. All black is beautiful. And then when you really think about the shit, and this is real, this is real shit, real tea, real every motherfucking thing right now. Black is beautiful to other fucking races other than us. That is a fucking issue. It's a fucking issue. When you have other fucking Races that is trying to be black so motherfucking bad. The best example I have for y'all is Kylie fucking Jenner. Where you have people trying to plump up their fucking lips with their motherfucking belly fat. Trying to plump up their ass with their motherfucking neck roll motherfucking fat. When everything that makes us who the fuck we are. You have other Motherfucking people trying to capitalize on this shit. When you have people saying that these motherfucking bullshit, ugly ass braids, that motherfucking, what's that bitch name? Hold on. Is it Kim Kardashian? Whoever the fuck Kanye's motherfucking bitch ass wife is, her fucking braids, oh, now this shit is a motherfucking trend when we've been wearing our hair like this for motherfucking years. Get the fuck out of here. When you have, I think, who, was, was it fucking Kanye's daughter or somebody's motherfucking daughter who's of a mixed breed? Oh, wear your hair natural. That's a new motherfucking thing. Bitch, we was wearing our hair natural for motherfucking years. Were we fucking not? What the fuck is this shit? And I don't fucking understand it. And then when we as black fucking people, oh, 
I want to sit here and call your ass this again. All shades of black is beautiful. I saw a video on YouTube that showed black women from just about every fucking place in Africa, from the lightest of the light to the darkest of the dark. And may I say, every last motherfucking queen was fucking beautiful, fucking gorgeous. <clears throat> but we have been fucking conditioned to think that what we have is fucking ugly and disgusting while other fucking cultures take what the fuck we have and turn it into a fucking trend are you fucking kidding me this is the damn issue that i fucking had had they not brought his motherfucking skin tone into this shit we it would have still been a motherfucking kiki this whole motherfucking time that's a fucking issue that i have we need to stop that shit because what's going to happen is all that we are doing is what in the grand scheme of things is what is wanted of us for us to internally fight each other and cr pretty much create genocide in our own fuck community where we kill so much of ourselves off by our own fucking hate and disdain because we have been trained to not like what makes us different, what fucking makes us beautiful. That is what we've been trained to fucking do. That's what the fuck we've been trained to do. And when we finally kill enough of our asses off, it's only going to be a select few to where they can come out and fucking exterminate us. And we will sit here and be as rare as the fucking dodo. The fucking dodo. So I'm going to let y'all talk. I need to pull it. Because I, I, I'm, I'm out. I need, I need to pull a damn, I need to pull a damn drink. Because I, I didn't I didn't got my damn self worked out. What y'all gotta say? Cause I I I didn't I didn't, I didn't say it with the I, and I'm I, I'm truly not done. I'm truly cause there's more shit that we gotta talk about. Oh, sit for you. I, I, I'm gonna sit for you, baby. I, I, I'm I'm gonna sit for you. I, I'm almost. I gotta pull just enough to get through the last of this shit. Cause that shit they got. Ooh, they got under. My, ooh, that got under my damn skin. It really did. That. And I done put too much damn color in this shit, but that's okay. It is, a, and again, it's one of those where, when is it that... It, Sean, let, let, let me holler at you right quick, boo. I feel you. I did the video a while back. I don't remember what a video is, because I do videos all the motherfucking time, and this the fuck it is. And right quick, Sean, you need to do more fitness videos, okay, baby? Because that's what not, that's why I subscribe to you, you doing fitness. Do more fitness related stuff. But I had got went and got my hair cut before my shit got chopped off when I went to fucking uh, Louisiana. My hair was long, and when my shit got picked all the way out, I had so many people that are not black. And even some people that of the lighter fucking persuasion staring at me like, oh my gosh, look at his hair. Since I, and, and I'm going to just say this, even though I don't talk about it and it's not really meant to be, you plan on it? Okay. Okay. I want to see it now, but, um, I don't talk about this whole lot, but I am in the military. I am in the army and just see how in they feel as people get when they see a black brother with a muff. Like when I say my hair was longer than this, but you going to see my hair like this. I ain't ashamed of shit. I'm going to show you. You, I'm black 3652 on some real shit, and I'm not making any fucking apologies for it. None the fuck at all. None, you know, you know what? Fuck it. We didn't win political. Huh, Let me say this right quick before we. Well, see, here's the thing. What hair this way? Contrary to popular beliefs, no, no. Um, okay, okay, okay. I, I got you. I got you. Most people in in the armed services on some real shit. With hold on, God, I, I I put too much uh, uh syrup in my drink, so I gotta kind of. Loosen this drink up, and then I gotta sober up after this to give y'all the rest of these air reviews and shit. But, um, I know I did a video a while back, uh, talking about when I went to uh, the barbershop and got my hair cut. Here's the thing 
this shit, this is not acceptable to most people. I can like, I can show y'all pictures of me back in 2009, natural hair and everything else. You know, feel what I'm saying? And I was even told, I fit, and I was told like one day it was like a going away from my fucking first sergeant, my very first first sergeant being permanent party. My hair, like, if you look at it like like this, my hair was about, like, right here, picked everything else. I had two picks in my hair. My fucking ATC chief came up to me and told me, your hair, like, the way that you have your hair and everything else is offending people. So, because my hair is natural, because I have two picks in my hair, because they have a picture of a black fucking fist, it offends people. Because my shit is natural. Because in the armed forces, you are trained to believe that the only hairstyle that you can have as a male is either a high, pretty much a fade in, in, in general. High and tight, regular fade ways. But when your hair starts to get, you know, some limp. And I'm, you know, I'm going to do this shit and leave it like that. When your hair starts to do this shit right here, it's a fucking problem. Where is Sway? How Sway? But that lets you know a whole fucking lot. I'm now mind you, when I'm at work and I'm gonna grab my pick, what I tend to do, hold on, wait, what's that? What I tend to do more often than not is before my hair got cut. Yes, pack yes, you, you have to pack it down. More like a lot of times I wake up in the morning with my do rag on my hair, and my hair is flatter on my head. But what I do is this. And I might be spilling too much of my tea and I might be fucking enough for niggas, you know, later on. This is what I do to my hair when I get in uniform. That's what I do. So no matter how long my hair is, my hair would do that right there. That's what my hair would do. Well, see, here's the thing. The, the red clearly states right now, when your hair is combed forward, it cannot pass by your brow now before my hair got unfortunately chopped off back in um november if i was to take my hair and pull it down my hair would come to about right here which is past my damn brow but in a natural style this is my hair right here and we're not gonna sit here and act like and i'm just be general motherfuckers with straight ass hair if they were if they were to comb their hair fucking forward, they shit will fall right the fuck here. But they style that shit in such we not finna do that. But what I'm saying is this I am proud to be a black man. I am proud to have my hair being fucking natural. But I do get upset when other fucking cultures try to take what is ours and make this shit, you know, acceptable. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, I got you. But that's all that I'm saying. So when we start getting to that point where we start hating what makes us beautiful, hating what makes us fucking different, you feel what I'm saying? Because, yes, there are other coaches that have very coily hair. But when you get down to the deepness of it, we have the coils. You have people trying to pull off dreads that can't pull off dreads because they don't have the fucking texture that we fucking have. You have people sitting here getting tans and shit trying to become fucking darker because they don't have the melanin that we fucking have. So we have been conditioned to hate who the fuck we are. Yet other cultures are taking the attributes that make us us to make themselves fucking look better. I don't fucking get it. Yeah, they, 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 they do look homeless. And that's all that I'm saying. So all that I'm truly getting at is when Tanaka and Jenny did that shit, I felt some kind of way. I really did. Because of some bitch ass shit. Ooh. So, that is why I said that and I put that out there the way that I did. The way that I fucking did. And here's the thing, on some real shit, I know I have people of different fucking races. For though, you know, here's the thing, there are people that I know that bleach their skin and I said, I, my, this, here's my whole thing, I'm not here to fucking judge, you do what you do. 
and <clears throat> you'll get to wherever the fuck you need to get to. My whole thing is this. This shit right here, even though I got acne and shit, this shit right here is fucking beautiful. You feel what I'm saying? This shit right, I can't I can't see what you're typing right now. But this shit right here is fucking beautiful. When I said I got motherfuckers sitting here talking shit on me all day long, every day, my name and they motherfucking mouse and shit, because they can't be what the fuck I am. Yes, this shit right here may not necessarily be what the fucking norm is, but I rocks this shit. I makes it look good. And then when I occasionally put gel in my hair, I still rock this shit. I still made this shit look good. You feel what I'm saying? I can still come in and give your ass all this motherfucking velvety chocolate, Jewish chocolate, motherfucking goodness, and still keep this motherfucker's press like a motherfucker. Call me egotistical. Call me whatever you want. But this is what the fuck you get. Ain't shit about to change. And I'm not finna sit here and downplay the fact that my ass is black. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> not the hell of cool, Jay. I'm not going to sit here and chop on my hair off because it's acceptable by other fucking people. I'm not going to fucking do that. I'm a, Exactly. I'm going to embrace who the fuck I am. I challenge. Now, here's the thing. Again, if you want to sit here and premiere her this and the third, I'm cool with that. But just embrace who the fuck you are. Embrace the fact that this shit right here, this melanin right here. Come on now. Oh, you uh, 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 you weren't done. I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 my bad. I, I didn't know y'all weren't done and shit, but you know, I, I, I'm, I'm going to give it to you one more good time. And then, you know, y'all know I've been losing weight and shit, but I'm going to give it to you one more good time and shit. But shit like this pisses people off. You feel what I'm saying? Like when you know, and I'm, I'm going to keep the glasses off so I can talk to y'all. So I'm not reading, but y'all keep on typing. Well, you know who you are. On some real shit, I did a video again a while back talking about being kings and queens and shit, right? Well, you know who you are when you walk around and you have this confidence about yourself. When you exude the fact that not only are you a king and a queen, and I'm about to piss people off, but that's okay. But when you present yourself as if you are a fucking god, and if y'all have not watched that video... When I put this on YouTube, I'll hopefully I'll put the link in there so y'all can see that video. When you understand who you are and you walk around understanding who the fuck, not, not being conceited, but understanding who you are, people will be mad as fuck. They'll be intimidated. They will come against you. But when you know, ain't shit they fucking do. When you proud that your hair has naps, when you proud that your hair can do shit like this and other people's hair can't do that shit. You feel what I'm saying? When you proud of that, when you are proud of the fact that even though there is a select few people that get sunburned, I'm going to have to wrap this up my phone is at 10% uh, right now. When you get to that point where, you know what I'm saying, you, your, you know that your skin absorbs sunlight, because we don't refract that sunlight, so we absorb that shit, so we are charged by the sun rays. When you understand these things, I'm telling you, people will be better the fuck off. But you have to understand the power that is in you. The power that is in you. So let's go ahead and move on, because again, my phone is at 10% and I ain't trying to, you know, I don't want this shit to end prematurely. So... We're going to do some positivity. I'm going to talk about Jane Smith, the stereotypes. Well, I'm going to... Ashley, I'm going to let y'all tie right quick. I got to piss again. I, again, I've been drinking. Don't blame. I'll be right back. Keep, keep typing. Keep typing. Okay. All right, so let's let's go ahead and finish this up, this shit up before my phone fucking cut off the shit. Okay. 
So, I'm going to talk about the positive shit. I'm going to talk about Jaden Smith and stereotypes, and then we're going to end this. So, hopefully, I can get this shit done before my phone cuts off. Okay. Positivity. Russell Wilson, who is... Um, I will about to say Fantasia. <laughs> that was shade right there. Sierra's um, um, uh, boyfriend. I, I want to say but boyfriend. Um, he has he has started a fashion line. Um, to benefit inner city youth is called Good Men. Is currently at Nordstrom, and um, three dollars from every purchase is uh, pretty much going to go to like underprivileged people. And you know what? On some real shit, I'm fucking here for that. I really am. Kudos to you. And <clears throat> actually, I can't pull this up. Well, I really can't pull this up because my fucking i uh, my um not my iPad, but my fucking Android tablet casts a shade. It's not going to pull it up, but young, um, I'm sorry, Slimtha has like two different establishments and both establishments are donating money to help people in Houston who have an, a problem or are not able to get housing to get housing. So kudos to Slim Thug. For those who do not know, Slim Thug uh, used to date out Latoya Lucky. I wish Latoya Lucky were in that sexy ass this way, but that's not here nor there. Lil Wayne, Juvenile, and Maddie Fresh have reunited to do a song. I believe it's called Hate. But it's beautiful that the old, you know, kind of cash money is coming back together. But you see Birdman was nowhere to be uh, stated. And Young Turk, for those of y'all, I believe it is Young Turk, is starting to go fund me to do some music. But he should have hopped on with these motherfuckers. But again, no shade. I'm just talking about the tea. Congrats to uh, Timbaland. He has lost 130 pounds. People want to shade him for practices of how he did it. It is irrelevant. My thing is this. Kudos to you. I believe Turk was uh, locked up. But kudos to you, uh, Timbaland, whether it be libel session or whatever. Kudos to you for losing 130 pounds. Motherfucker, I lost in my 40s. So... 130 kudos to your ass, okay? I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Kudos to you, Timbo. And here's the people can shade him all the fuck they want, but he's still making that motherfucking paper. Holla. T.I. currently has, and Big Boy has said that he did uh, a little bit bad, has stated, um, has uh, snagged residency at the uh, at Las Vegas. And it's nice that hip-hop is now in Vegas, because you know Back in Vegas, you know you have the big name Celine Dion, the Tony Braxton, even some of the lower names of the Britney Spears, doing Las Vegas shows, and now they're opening up to hip hop. So Big Boy said that he was doing it. T.I. is now doing it. So congrats to you, T.I. Get your motherfucking paper, bruh. Um, Albert Woodfox um, was freed after 43 years of prison after his murder conviction was overturned. Now, he was a Black Panther. And I say was because, you know, Black Panthers are no longer in existence. But he was arrested for murder. And it's convenient that during the month of February, that shit was overturned. Why was it overturned 40-some years ago? But after 43 years. But regardless of that. Our brother is free, so congrats to him. Now, before we end this with the MVP, who is the who has the MVP and the L of the week? Let me talk about Jaden Smith and stereotypes right quick. <clears throat> All that I'm going to say is this, and I really hope that everybody understands what I'm about to say. And I'm going to save some of this for my vlog because I do want to talk about this on the vlog. I'm not mad at Jaden for what Jaden does. Because Jaden has a lot. And if you are one of these people that I'm going to talk about, you know what? I am sorry that you feel this way. Jaden got people pressed. Oh, some real shit. Jaden got people pressed. And here's the reality. Jaden is doing him. Jaden is living his life for him. Because what tends to happen, you know, Ashley Hope. Let me pause one more time. I need to plug this phone up because I don't want my phone to go off because we need to talk. Hold on. We need to talk about this shit. Hold on. Y'all type now. Let me grab my shit. Hold on.
Keep typing. Flip the shit. Okay, I cannot find an adapter. I can't. So, if this goes off, <laughs> which I can, if this goes off, I apologize in advance. But I'm going to say this. Jaden Smith, I respect him wholeheartedly. And this is why. Okay, he's spoiled, but here, here's what I'm going to say, though. Jaden got a lot of people pressed. Jaden is living his life. Don't care who fucking sees. And I appreciate that because if I even equate that to my fucking life, you feel know what I'm saying? I even said that, and fuck it, I, I'm gonna just put it on here. I was gonna say it for them. Uh, I might even see, still say this on my fucking blog. I even said a couple of days ago that here's the reality I'm fucking flamboyant I understand that I have androgynous features about myself I understand that shit too if I really cared about my fucking image I would have came on camera from day one basing my voice and everything else right if I really cared I would go to work Based on my voice and everything else, I chose when I came to North Carolina to change shit up. When I came on YouTube, give y'all the most genuine aspect of who the fuck I am. This is what I chose to do. I ain't trying to put on airs for no motherfucking body. Because my thing is this. The world hates real shit. That's what the world hates. The world hates when people live their lives the way they want to. When you do what you want to do, when you live your life for you, when there are zero fucks to be given, when you, for back of, for a, a lack of better phrasing, when you live your truth, people hate it. Because when people start to talk up, and I'm not saying this about nobody on here, so if you getting hit or hit, dog, we'll holler, I'm just saying. But when people start to live their lives, live their truths, and you have people that they are ashamed to just live life, they start to hate those people because I hate the fact that you can do what I wish that I could do. I mean, people do just love to talk shit. You know what I'm saying? But but what I'm saying is just do what feels natural. And because here's the thing, because I know I talked about this with one of my supervisors. Like I said, I'm I am definitely not a part. I'm in no shade. I'm not part of the LGBTQ community. If y'all think that I am, again, I am. What the fuck you say that I am? Eminem said the best. I'm not part of the LGBTQ community, but I am a fucking free spirit. I do what works best for me. And the question came up, why is it that you have females that are like manly and stud and whatnot and doing this? And if that's the case, then why isn't the, recip the recipient trying to date a motherfucking dude? And even the same thing with the gays. And I'm like, well, the issue is, is with America. I'm not even gonna say America with the world, the world, especially America has gender roles and you must fit into this to be this. And a lot of people fall into that. That is what the fuck happens. It's truly what the fuck happens. My whole thing is when people get to that point where it's just like, I don't give a fuck about what you think, what you think, what they think. I'm going to live my life as vibrantly as I fucking want to. And just fucking do that. 
Cause that's what the fuck I do over here. You know what I'm saying? Because I have even said when I was at work, because, you know, somebody came for me. I'm just like, let, let me explain this to you right quick. Right quick. I'm very fucking flamboyant. Very. I have androgynous features about myself. And and this is how I just the fuck am. I'm not trying to front for no motherfucking body. You feel what I'm saying? I got that when it comes to babies being born. But what I'm saying is when you have people of the same sex and they're doing what they do because they're trying to fit into a heritable, you know, a heritable sexual, you know, society, they feel that one but must be masculine and the other must be feminine. My thing is when people get caught up in there, they forget to live their fucking lives. Me personally. If y'all watch me long enough, if y'all been here for a hot minute, y'all have seen me get mad niggerish on the screen. Y'all done seen the bass drop. Y'all done seen my balls drop. Y'all done seen all... Well, y'all haven't seen the balls drop. But y'all have heard me go there. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't shit fake about me over here. But I don't feel that I should have to portray myself as a fucking thug or this shit over here. I can be who the fuck that I am and be content with that. I am not over here trying to sit here and put on airs for no fucking body. Because this is my damn channel. When I'm at work, I don't give a fuck what the fuck you think about me. Because trust me when I say, I got bitches, niggas, hoes, everybody pressed over me. You feel what I'm saying? I got muffles my name and their mouth on the fucking regular. People mad because how was he so fucking happy? Bitch, because I am. Because I know who God is. I know who God is in me. I know my fucking divinity. I know that I'm a king. Dare I say it, I know that I'm a fucking God in my own fucking right. I don't need y'all to sit here and validate me. But when I come on, I choose to be happy. I choose to be these things. I choose to not let y'all dictate who the fuck I am. And I'm some real shit. Anybody who's watching, when you choose to know who the fuck you are, when you choose to own yourself, when you choose to live your life the way that you want to live your life, I guarantee fucking tell you, bitches, niggas, hoes, prostitutes, everybody else, saints and fucking sinners will be pressed because they wish they could be you. They wish they could have that much fucking confidence to live their fucking lives. When you live your life, not give a fuck who the who else fucking see. When you live your life purest to the point, you are not hurting someone else. It's the best thing you can fucking do. Oh, here, bruh. Wait. I'm sorry, sis. My bad. My bad. I didn't see the picture. No shade. That real was no shade. Confidence is a. I might. I'm gonna have to say that for a separate fucking. If y'all not subscribed to a motherfucker on YouTube, go check my YouTube about spilling all the tea. Cause I'm gonna talk about this later. Confidence is a motherfucker. When you got that confidence and it exudes, motherfuckers are attracted to it like a fucking fly to a flame, but they are envious because why do you have this light? Why are you so fucking confident? Why do you love yourself the way that you do? And why do I hate myself the way that I fucking do? Fuck all y'all. And that's just how the fuck I live my damn life. Like when I say I had a motherfucker ask me the other day, why are you so happy? Real question is this. I know who the fuck I am, and I know who God is. Why are you so mad? Catch that T. Catch that shade. But that's what it all boils down to. So when Pete, yeah, it was shade for real. When people come at Jaden like that, I understand that he is young. Okay, but here, and you know what? I don't have a problem with him trying to stand out. If I could even, sp and I've spilled my tea already. Growing up, I have, I have, I have a couple of brothers. I found out recently that I had another brother that I knew nothing about that had passed away. But growing up, um, what hurt me the most is I never existed. And what I mean is, people would say, "Oh, you said little brother." Oh, you cheese, little brother. Oh, you Rosanna's son. Oh, you Lee's son. 
I was never y'all real. So because of that, it caused me to have to create an identity for myself. Hence, when y'all see the other personalities, but it pretty much it was. I'm going to go to the extreme on y'all asses. So when you see me, I'm not this person's brother. I'm not this person's son. When you fucking see me, I'm fucking y'all real to your ass. And that could even be jaded. Yes, he's young. He's impressionable. But my thing is this. No matter what people say about Jaden, Jaden making that motherfucking paper, baby. Jaden got that but Jaden got people talking about his ass, which is further putting more money in his pocket. If that his thing, if people didn't think this was gonna cause controversy, do y'all not think they would have picked Jade? Because they knew it was gonna cause controversy and attention. He always had, but here's the thing, now he got his own money. Of course he's done movies. Jaden more than motherfucking revenue, baby. That's all that I'm saying. That's all that I'm, I know. And here's the your parents are rich, but that only goes so far. That's all that I'm saying. But in me talking about this, it's all like my whole thing is being confident because if I leave y'all with nothing else, nothing else, regardless of what religion you are, your ethnicity, your race, whatever, love yourself. Be confident in who you are. Let no one make you insecure about anything. For all of those who are black with coarse and coily hair, when I say if you let this right, if you sit here and you own this shit right here, and I'm going to leave it like this right now. When you own this shit, when you walk around like the little coils that point out of your hair are fucking points on a fucking crown. When you walk around like the king and the queen that you are, better yet, the god and the goddess that you are. When you sit here and, dare I say it, you fucking serve. You sit here and keep bitches and fuck boys press without fucking release. When you sit here and you show they ass, this is what the fuck it is. What can they do? People sit here and say, and I'm going to kind of do a little bridge right quick. People say Nina Simone was not beautiful. I think she was very fucking gorgeous. But regardless of that, you had nothing against Zoe. But you have a beautiful Latin black woman trying to betray her. And everybody's just like, no, bitch. Why? Because she was a black queen with black fucking features. Black is beautiful. It is always beautiful. It will always be beautiful. You know that you have something as a race when other races are trying to fucking copy you. And be you at the same time as trying to exterminate you. Don't give in to it, my black people. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. But love yourself. Know who you are. Love who you are. And that's all that I have to say. And right quick, if y'all thought that I was going to talk about the big shit that didn't already happen with the YouTuber, I'm not going to talk about it. There's enough going on about it. I'm not going to do it. So, with that being said, it is now time for us to pick the MVP and the L of the week. So, right quick, who ha who do y'all think deserves L of the week? I know, yeah, it's as I've been saying, who deserves the L of the week? I, need to, I, I really need to go back through my own shit and really try to figure it out because it was so much shit that happened. This uh week, you know. So let me see. I'm really trying to be like, who took the biggest fucking L? Cause I don't know. Like this is one of those where I don't know who gets the L or the W. You think Cat Williams took the L? I don't think Cat took the L. Well, see, here's the thing. Tanaka and Jenny both were on that. So, are you, okay, Tanaka, okay, Tanaka and Jenny, maybe. May, okay, like, before I, okay, because I want us to vote on this. So, who has the ale of the week? Let's vote right now. Because I'm thinking that both 
I'm, even though I don't like Teresa, I think that Jenny and Tanaka was wrong for especially the skin color of Mark. I think that was very, very far. It was too fucking far, in my opinion. Nothing? Okay, so I'm guessing... I'm surprised ain't nobody saved motherfucking Caitlyn for sitting here trying to give us cre <laughs> cremation number five. But okay, so I'm guessing we're going to say Tanaka and Jenny has the L of the week. So, wait, oh, wait, hold on. Wait, oh, okay, I got one for Caitlyn. Hold on now. Oh, you didn't hear all the stories? Okay. Irrelevant. So we're just going to say that Tanaka and Jenny got the L of the week. So who is the MVP of the week? Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Before you, wait, wait, before you vote on the MVP, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I forgot to talk about the congrats. And then we'll talk about the MVPs. I'm so sorry. I already, if I'm not mistaken, I already talked about uh, Albert um, Wood Fox. If I didn't already talk about him, freed after 43 years of being in prison on a murder conviction that was overturned. He was a Black Panther. It's just kind of funny how that shit get overturned after 43 years. And he's done uh, decades of uh, salary confinement, but he was released. I did, okay. Um, Kim Fields. Is uh, even though we don't see her for it on uh, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, she is uh, supposedly going to be on Dancing with the Stars, and Bobby Brown is expecting a baby. He and his wife, even though he is in rehab. So, who has the fucking MVP of the week? You let me know, cause we had a lot to talk about. We had to make up for lost. Hi, I know. Congrats, y'all. I uh, I know another one, <laughs> and we've been here for almost two and a half hours, so I had to kind of come back and give y'all that zinga because we didn't miss that on some shit. You know what? I'm not going. I'm not talking about Chrissy. I'm not. <laughs> 